In this video, I'll show you how to restore your search bar on your Sony Xperia 1 Mark V or later ones. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and after upgrading to, after updating to Android 15, I got the DuckDuckGo search box here. And when searching for DuckDuckGo, yeah. Ion, how to? Does it know about me? So, okay, it knows about the website. Actually, DuckDuckGo doesn't look too bad, so maybe I'll give it a try, but I will show you the way to reset this to Google. At some point, when I was doing another update, a previous update, not the Android 15 I did now, it was showing me a notification to choose the default search engine and the search bar provider and I chose DuckDuckGo but then I was I tried it and I was thinking no I want to have the Google bar back where I can do a voice command from here and a search picture search quickly with for the Google Lens so I took put those things back and it was all fine but after the Android 15 update somewhere it had this setting saved that I prefer DuckDuckGo and it put it back so I want to show you now how you put, if you did choose other something other than Google there, you will probably have the same problem and I will show you how to fix it. For this search bar here, I don't really know where the setting is in the phone, in the Android 14 or 15, maybe in 15 now it's easier to change it. But I had it like this and it was very difficult to switch it back, but maybe now in 15 it would be easier. So I'll do a search in the settings first for search so let's see if i go to search here it's really speak nothing bar let's search for bar so there's really nothing in the settings but i will show you how i did it before and i will do it now i hope it works now most important, the setting in the home screen for Xperia, it's not there. I I don't show the Google app, that left menu option, I don't show it. And I show the quick search box, but it's showing DuckDuckGo. And to fix it to, I mean to fix it, to change it back to Google, how I prefer it. Maybe in the future I will change it back to DuckDuckGo. But to change it back to Google, I want to search for the Google app. You need to have the Google app. You will have all the Google Discover articles, which is up to you if you want to see them or not. You tap on your user and after you tap on your username, you go to the settings. Now I have to try to remember. I have to try to remember which one it was. And it's probably other settings. Maybe this one, customize search, search widget. So it gives me the option to customize it. I could set the transparency and I could reset it. So I guess the add option here, it will add. Yeah. So maybe this is the way here, add to home screen. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. It's just going to add a widget to the home screen. I don't want that. I want the widget. I want the widget. I want this widget to be changed there. So that's not the way to do it. Other settings. You could disable discover now if you don't want to see them. Privacy and safety. I don't know where it was. I have the DuckDuckGo search bar there and I will try here on this page. I'll try to, okay, so I'll go back to customize search widget and I'll try to do a reset. Let's see if this fixes it. So reset, doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, so this this is a, a widget that I would add afterwards, but so it doesn't change anything. It should be in the Google app. Or maybe if I, if I remove the DuckDuckGo app, let's try. 
I will try to remove the DuckDuckGo browser. Maybe the app. So uninstall. I guess this could be working. So now, how is it going to find this search bar? Maybe it's not related to the actual app itself. Maybe it's not related to the actual app itself. But now this doesn't work. So, okay. That's interesting. This is a, it's clearly a bug now because I uninstalled the app and <laughs> this doesn't work. So let's try to lock and unlock. Home settings, switch to hide the search box. So the search box is gone. Go to show the search box. And I have a basic search now. Ah, this is the Google search. Okay. Okay, so I have this search, but I don't have the microphone there. But at least, at least I could get the Google search here, how I wanted it, I guess. But it's not really how I wanted it. So I have the Google search bar here. Yeah, it's the same same option for search. And let's try. Thing is, I don't know which setting, which one is going to work here. So, if I change it and I don't show it to you now, it's going to be customized search widget. So this is the search widget, but it's it's adding it. I don't know. Add to home screen, but I already have it there. So a reset. I try a reset doesn't do anything just shows this basic search here I don't know I guess I guess I, I made it work in some way by removing the duck that go up uh, I could uninstall the Google app also let's try uh, could I I can't uninstall it so interesting Google app I could do a, a reset, so I could clear the storage on it. I could do a reset on the Google app, so for stop, let's see, it's gone from there, and then storage and cache, clear cache, clear storage. So now the app is reset, basically, and it would be like I just logged in the first time. And still the same. So Google. Customize the search widget. Okay. If I try to add it, I will add it to the home screen. <laughs> it's going to try to add it. Ah, no. Did it do it? No. I want to get this one. But it's giving me this basic one. Maybe that's how it is now. I don't know. So this is the search bar there. If I disable it, it's gone. If I enable it, it's this one again. If I disable it, it's gone. Maybe I will really just disable it because it's not so useful now, but I don't know. Um, I was using it to do a voice search to do, I was using it for the Lens search Google Lens, but I could use any other shortcuts from there. So maybe tap there and one more tap here. It was for the voice search and the Google Lens search. This is what I was using it for. But I guess this works now in some way. It's a bit strange how it is in the settings for uh, default default home app. I have this is the Sony Xperia app and. Default apps, I have default app, default browser app, mm. default SMS. I don't know, maybe it's one of these settings here.
default apps. So we have for browser, call directing, digital assistant, home. This is the Sony Xperia. And it's uh, the settings. I mean, I think it's a problem with the launcher itself with this Sony Xperia that's not really working well. And um, yeah, it has a search here, but does anyone have it like this? I mean, when I was offered to choose the default browser and the default search engine, I chose DuckDuckGo and since then <laughs> it's only trouble. I was able to put it back with Google. I was able to put the original search bar up with the Google app by doing a reset to set the default or something like this. It gave me an option to, for that, but on Android 15 now it doesn't really do that. I uninstalled the DuckDuckGo app and then the bar wouldn't work here. And now it's really just showing a basic search bar. It's not related to the Google one, so bugs, I don't know. Thanks for watching. At least I got something here. I got the Google bar to at least I kind of got it working. I have to do an extra step if I want to do a voice command, but still, the, the Google Discover is off at least. Thanks for watching.